I'm standing here on a pedestrian bridge over the River Nid in Trondheim, Norway, 63 and a half degrees north, watching the water flow down this really important river that, that I imagine the Vikings were looking at over 1200 years ago when they were making Viking ships in this area and also when they were perhaps designing the hydroelectric power plants a few kilometers up this, up this river. Take a look in the river and watch the flow patterns. Look at how the flow impinges on this bridge support separates. You can see the separation off the side. You can see the vortex sheddings off of there. Sometimes we're lucky enough to have somebody accidentally chop down a tree which falls into the river and gets caught on the bridge. And you can see how that flow is disturbed across there. Again, you can see lots of regions where the flow is thrust up in front of that tree as, as the bulk of the flow moves under and the vortex shedding behind that tree. As I walk across to the downstream side of the bridge and look down the river, you can see all kinds of wonderful patterns where the river gets more shallow and the water has to speed up in order to compensate for the uh, shallower depth. And you can very clearly see on the downstream side of these bridge supports the vortex shedding moving off the back of this, uh, these bridge supports. You take this as a wonderful opportunity and, and many opportunities around you to watch the wind going through the, the leaves of the trees and see that as it helps f visualize the flows around you. Uh, you can look at some of the patterns on the cars. If you have dirty cars, you can see some of the flow patterns in there. And in Module 3, we're going to derive equations that can help us uh, understand this phenomena, predict this phenomena, and also we're going to look at some of the tools that we can use in order to start to visualize and understand what's going on in flows like this. So please look around and think about the fluid mechanics as you look at the world around you.